Welcome to the From Within Podcast with Ben Osterveld. Hey guys, I was just thinking, uh, I've done a lot of coaching lately, and it's really, really cool to think about the evolution that's happening because of the high, high, high pressure of this COVID virus, because you're forced to actually evolve. This is what I'm trying to say, is that most people are waiting to be forced to go online to sell stuff. Like so many stores and, and, and different organizations never used group coaching services like Zoom, or they've never used any kind of like online shopping, delivery services. What's crazy is that the people that are proactive, that look a little deeper than just like, hey, things are good, or the doing the norm, like I believe that you need to put yourself in positions that are high pressure sometimes for the purpose of evolution. Think about this. If you go commit to something that's a little bigger and maybe more a little expensive than you think, you're going to step up. You always do. The entire world shut down. Guess what? Everyone's stepping up. They're figuring it out. People are working out in the in the in the local fields, paid workouts in the local fields versus having to come to an actual gym. These things could probably, probably going to stay. This is forced evolution. So what are you doing today that's going to force you to evolve? Why don't you put yourself in a position, commit to something bigger than yourself and watch yourself grow. Let's not wait till the pain is so high that you have to absolutely be forced to evolve. What are the conversations even in your relationships that you're not having so when you show up and the wife and the kids are gone, then you evolve? Not cool. Not cool. You, you, you know, you got a partnership in a business, you don't have the real conversations, shit hits the fan, then you evolve? I believe everything starts from looking within yourself, challenging your life, putting it on the fire. Is it actually even your life? Is there something that you've been putting off for a long time? Why don't you just go do it? If you committed to a marathon tomorrow, holy shit, you'd get in shape quick, right? Or you can wait till you get diabetes and wait till the doctor says, hey, look, you gotta lose some weight, then you go. I say let's be proactive. Let's look today, what can we do? What can we do that we've been avoiding so we can absolutely evolve proactively with intention rather than reactively and then you're always behind the eight ball. The people that were proactive in business and and evolving and putting themselves in tougher positions are way ahead of the game, even in their relationships, even in their business. So again, find a place that is a little bit too big, a little bit too scary, maybe a little little bit more money than you think. Put yourself in a position that's going to cause you to evolve, be proactively, be in control of that experience rather than having something come upon you and you have to react and force yourself to evolve. That's not a fun feeling. That's like getting surprised. That's what happened with COVID. People are going, holy crap, how do we sell stuff online? Oh no. Think about it, guys. Let's be proactive. Let's evolve. Cheers. Cheers.